First up is Miss Samantha Starr. Samantha studied creative arts and interior design before setting her sights on scrapbooking. She opened Scrapbook Star in February of 2006 and has enjoyed every minute since. She has been featured on CBC Living Montreal and Global TV This Morning Live. Samantha is also a proud teacher at MyCraft Tech University, and today she's here to share a teeny weeny hand stitch book. I'm delighted to welcome Samantha Star. Hi, Samantha. Good morning, everyone from Montreal. Um, I'd like to say good morning to everyone on uh, Cool to Craft here this morning. Um, as Linda said, I am Samantha Star, and this morning what I'm going to be demoing is this adorable little book. Now, I know in the picture it was kind of hard to see exactly how small it was, but it is teeny tiny. Isn't that cute? Someone actually said to me that they thought I made a book that had gigantic buttons, but really it's a tiny book with regular size buttons on it. So, um, Linda, I'm not sure if you have a slide of the project you can put up while I switch on over to my craft cam. Here is my workspace this morning. So, there are very few materials that you need to create this book, which is awesome. You do not need any glue, I can promise you that. What you need is one piece of patterned paper that is two and three quarters by five and a quarter. Then you're going to need about 20 little tiny pieces of paper here that are two and a half by four and three quarters. So you're going to need about 20 of those. Now, aside from that, you're really going to need basic tools like your ruler. Um, when we do book binding, um, like the class I gave last week at Craft Tech U, I was explaining why I use these curved needles. Um, they're very good for knotting and tying off. I believe that they are quilting needles. I call them book binding needles. And we're also going to be using some waxed linen. If you don't have waxed linen, you could probably use an embroidery floss or a cotton thread. And you're going to want to, if you have some beeswax, you're going to want, want it, run it through beeswax just to um, give it some grip to it. So here is the cover of my book right here. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be measuring in um, two and a half inches from each side, which on my gridded map here is very easy to do. One, two and a half. And what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be just scoring a line right at my two and a half. So two and a half inches in from each side, we're going to be scoring a line. So one, two and a half. So right about here. like that. And what this does is it gives us the cover of our book. So if we fold along those scored lines, what we end up with is something that looks a little like this. So you're going to use your bone folder just to make sure that everything's nice and creased. So in the end, like I said, we have two folds, two and a half inches from each side. So this is the jacket or the cover of our um, of our book, and this is actually for those of you who are wondering, is this is paper by Bow Bunny, and it's got gigantic, well, larger polka dots on one side, and then it has a different polka dot on the other side. So it's fun to use a double side paper in this project. So what you have to do next is you have to fold all of your interior pages. So we're going to make. Um, a whole bunch of pages. So what we're going to do is we're going to make two sections that have ten folded pages each. Now, when we fold pages for bookbinding, you always want to sit them inside each other like that. So as we fold, we insert them inside. And what they call this, the technical term for this, is a signature. Okay? Don't ask me who came up with that, but that, so if you ever hear someone refer to signatures, this is what they're referring to. So you're just going to make two signatures that have 10 or so pages each. They can have more, they can have less. That is sort of up to you. I should really be using my bone folder, but, you know. Um, and then what we're going to do is we're going to sew everything together, and it's going to be easy peasy 10 minute project.
Um, so as Linda said, I teach over at Craft Tech U with her. And last week I gave a um, recycled, or as I like to call it, upcycled book binding class. So what that means is that we took, I don't know if anyone from the class is here, we took the um, an existing jacket from a book and we kind of gutted the book and we found new pages for it. So very similar to what we're doing now, but on a bigger scale. And I believe that that class is available on Craft Tech University on demand, which means you can download it and watch when it's convenient for you, which is a pretty cool feature of Craft Tech U if you can't make it to the actual class. Okay, so last one here. Do, 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 do. So I've got two packages of 10 pages each, as we like to call them. So we're going to take our cover back. And what we need to do is we need to put in four holes. So what I'm going to do with my, my trusty paper piercer here is I'm going to put about a half inch down. I'm going to put two holes side by side. And then the same thing from the bottom. About a half inch up, I'm going to put two holes side by side. And that's what we're going to do, use to secure in our books. I don't know if you, if my camera will focus on that. We usually say it takes about 10 seconds. There we go. You can see my tiny little holes. Okay. So what I have to do now is I have to put similar holes into my signatures. Okay, so I'm opening up my pages and I am putting holes that are more or less in the same area. Like that. <clears throat> Pardon my sniffing and sneezing here, but as I mentioned, I have a cold and there is no risk of you catching it unless believe in cyber germs, as someone said before. Okay, so we're on the home stretch here. So, once we have our little holes pierced, all you have to do is you're going to take one of your signatures, you're going to open it up, and you're going to... The dimensions of the cover are two and three quarters by uh, five and a quarter. Okay, so as you can see, I've pulled my thread through that top coat, um, cover and then that top signature. Sorry, then I'm going to go through one of the holes in my, in my cover here. And then I'm working with um, a really dark piece of thread, so it's obvious to you guys where the thread is. And then what I'm going to do is on this back side here, I'm going to thread on my button. like that. Okay, and I'm going to go into the other hole of the button and into the hole that I pierced next to um, so there we go. I've got my button. So I'm going to pull that tight and I'm going to go back into that hole that's right next to my other hole. And what I'm going to do is I'm then going to take, so here, I'm getting a little tangled in my string here, which is nothing new. There we go. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my second signature. I'm going to sew that on like that, and then what I'm going to do from there is I'm going to go straight down to the bottom hole that I created in my signature. So you're actually going to see the string come across, and then I'm going to go out that bottom hole. I know this is looking a little tangled, but have faith. So I'm going to go out that bottom hole there, 
And then I'm going to do the, basically the same thing I just did before, which is I'm going to string on my button. And I'm going to go through the other hole in my button. And I'm going to go through that hole right next to it. And that's going to line up with the last little hole in my, so I'm pulling it through. Then I've got one hole in the spine of my signature here. Like that. And then we are back where we started. So what you're going to do is you're going to tie that off. You're going to make sure to make a nice, strong knot, because that's what's holding everything together. We are going to snip off our excess string, and then we are just going to straighten everything out. And that is our completed mini book. <laughs>